Hi everybody, Flash Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to another day of Medieval Dynasty. New settlement. Yes, another day. Another rainy, rainy day. Well, if I remember rightly, I've got to plow the field using a hoe. So, here we go. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got a hoe. Oh, I better have a hoe. Yeah. And it's 100%. Oh, is it an iron hoe? No, it's a stone hoe. Don't know how to use it. Um, how to feel by using the hoe? Should I maybe hold it further back? Yeah. So three hits each one, eh? Very good. <laughs> Please don't break. <laughs> I'll be really upset if it breaks. <laughs> Clear it up quick. Eleven. Didn't that one get done? Twelve. Ah. What's next on the agenda? Fertilize the field. Oh. <sighs> Fertilize the field. Do I have... Did he give me... It's the fertilizer bag. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> well, let's use this one first. What do you do? Put, do you just... Do you just drop it on there? No, you don't. <laughs> do you... Oh. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Uh, for, what? That seems a bit... Really, I've got to take it out. Or can I just... Why? That can't be right. Um, can I just, why can't I, I mean that's dumb that it does that every time. That can't be, that can't be the right mechanic, I, I must be doing something wrong, because that's just ridiculous that you have to take it out of your backpack every time. What about if I put if I put that axe in here, can I put the fertilizer bag on my wrist? No. <sighs> hmm. Can I do that and then just No. <laughs> Can I do <laughs> boogie boogie boogie? <laughs> Can I do that? Grab it like that? No, that just grabs the whole thing. Well, why did it do that that time? I don't know what I'm doing different, but that's the way it should work, you'd imagine. I'm doing it from the top, not from the side. Maybe that's something to do with it. 
I'm gonna have to dig this in, aren't I? Right. Plant wheat crops. <laughs> Plant the wheat crops. Wheat seed. Right, put that in this hand. And we'll plant the wheat seed. <laughs> That's better. That's much better. Whee! it. New quest added. Talk to farmer repper 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 repper. <laughs> right, he's right behind me. <laughs> Aha, he is. Hey, mate. Hey, don't go How off. Life treating you? Hi, hello, hello, neighbor. Did you get some rest? No, I didn't. Uh, I do feel tired, but I won't give up just yet. I must admit, this isn't the easiest job. But I can tell that it's all worth it in the end. I'm worried about what seems like the in and in why can't I say it? Inevitable, 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 in the in the in the in the uh, compose yourself. Don't look at me like that. I'm inevitable, inevitable. To ball in a in a bit of <laughs> loss of crops due to weather conditions. Well, no water basically. Certainly, here's the main pest the main pest of floods. We haven't got floods, mate. Winds and rabbits. We can't do anything about the first two. But we have a solution for rabbits. An excessive number of rabbits will eat your crops. Rabbits love to eat grains and young shoots. How to get rid of the excess of rabbits in the area then? Rabbit traps? It's pretty simple. I think you won't have any trouble with that. Here, let me teach you how to make a proper bird trap. A bird trap? We're talking about rabbits, mate. Yeah, okay, I understand. Make three rabbit traps and place them around the fields. Thank you for this lesson. I'll try to prepare traps for you. Goodbye. Yes, yeah, six. No, I'm not talking to you. Goodbye. Rabbit trap. No, B. Uh, new recipe, rabbit, three rabbit traps. It's a bit excessive, don't you think? No. Nope. Uh -huh. Build three rabbit traps. Build rabbit traps. Are they here or will they be tall? Oh, who knows? Let's go over here first. No, no, no. No, no. Rabbit trap. I need four small sticks, so I've got to do three. That's 12. I've got reeds, thank goodness. Uh, otherwise, it's a long walk down to the river. So I need some small sticks. I need 12. No. Did I say 12? No. I thought, yeah, I need 12 in total. I've got six. I need six more. I know what I'm talking about. Six small sticks is a likely candidate. Yoink. Any. Ah, there's another one. Two. I'll take that stone because why not? Three. I think that was small. Four. And. Five. Another stone. Another stone. Another stone. And another stick. Is that right? Twelve. Right. So, rabbit trap. Here we come. Let's make them over. Whoa. 
Let me come over here. Right. Book. Rabbit trap. Oh. Oh, I don't have to do... Oh, okay. Cool. I'm not complaining. One there. Rabbit trap. Mm, we'll put one over here. Yep, and we'll put another one over here. Yes. I bet I've got to talk to Rumpel Stilpskin. Quest. Talk with Rapid Store or Sub. <laughs> he's around here somewhere. I bet he's having a rest in his house. I'm presuming this is his house. I mean, if I was. Hey! How are you going, Rumpel? Hail, friend. Did you make the traps? Yes, I succeeded. Yes, great success. Great, they look sturdy enough to me. Hopefully they won't break right away. Well, I understand this kind of work. A reward awaits you. Here it is. Receive the item. Five wheat seeds. <gasps> Thank you, Repus Law Stores Law. See you soon. Yep. Wooden hoe, stone sickle, a field plot. I thought I already had them. Oh, a field plot. Oh, well, that was worth it. New quest added. What? I'm getting hungry. Uh, natural knowledge. I know one thing. Farmer's repertoire is a hardworking man. It's time to wind down and have a little chat. I wonder what repertoire has he has to say about the village. I, don't, I didn't even take notice of where he went. He's, there he is. Hey, Rippy. Rippy. How is life treating you? How's life treating you? Uh, thank you for your help, newcomer. You assisted me in the field. Collected vegetables and built some really sturdy rabbit traps. It was quite an adventure. You didn't do anything. I could use your help on the farm permanently. Yeah, nah. Uh, I've learned a lot from you. I'm flattered. But as I said before, I've I got a farm of my own to run. Your teachings will definitely come in handy. Let's take a break for now and have a little chat. What do you say? That's a great idea, my friend. As I mentioned, me and my family have been here for generations. I inherited these lands from my father, who inherited it from his father, and so on. I don't want to sound like an old fart, but we've seen better days, you know. The crops in front of you are nothing compared to the ones from previous seasons. Just recently, our main river dried up. Yeah, I know all about the river, mate. Dried out, just like that. Oh, dried out, it didn't dry up. It should have dried up. Pardon me. Indeed, one day it was fine, and the other it was gone. It has been hard since then. We are trying our best, but it's not easy. Fortunately, they have, haven't raised the taxes yet. Yeah, I know how you feel about taxes, mate. That mountain is very high. I don't understand why it doesn't look that high on the flat screen. Uh, so the trades will stay on hold then. The orders ordered me to wait for the mayor to be elected. But I can see now that it all will be futile. I mean, you should be the mayor, mate. That's true. I'm going to candidate. I'm going to candidate for the mayor position. But until the river problem, until the rope, but until the river problem won't be solved, I'm afraid that the trade between villages won't be possible. Solving the water issue is crucial for your village, but also for my case. I'll see what can be done. Goodbye. A new quest is added. Are we finally going to kill ourselves? That one's almost as high as that one. How am I going to get up there? Helicopter? Uh, choices. I've been told by the local farmer that the main issue of the trade between Wolf Hill and Satterbore is the river drying up. No one really knows why it happened, so it's worth investigating. Talk to the local elder and ask him about the river. Well, who's the local elder? 
Hmm. It's over here. I'm hungry. It's getting late as well. Um, food. More food. <laughs> more food. And more food. Hmm. I'm going to hold off on a drink. <sighs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. What's the time? Oh, it's getting late. I might get a chance to talk to the elder at least. And then I think maybe... Uh, let me look at the time. Hmm, we've got plenty of time. Right, the elder. He's over this way. Might need to get a flame out because I know how dark it is in the recording for some obscure reason. No? Is he in bed already? Might be. Yeah, well, sorry old mate, but I'm gonna have to wake you up. How is life treating you? Hello, <laughs> you've been away for a while. Did you have a good time with us? Did you manage to meet the residents of our beautiful village? Yes, you could even say that we've been of great help to each other. I think it made me understand more why Sedabor is such a special place. I met different types of people and all of them share a common problem. The good news is that everyone wants to solve it. They all have a different approach but aim at the same goal. Are you talking about the river drying up? <laughs> I'm talking about resuming the trade and the drought is clearly the root of the problem. Do you think... Do you... Who, oh, sorry. Who do you think would be the best candidate for the next mayor? Who could solve this problem most effectively? Well, the farmer. Yeah, most definitely. I think farmer Re Repa... That guy, Repi... He seems to be reasonable and can distinguish between what's important and what's not. It's interesting to hear from a complete stranger's perspective. Thank you. That's helpful. Something tells me that Sadabor is a more intriguing place than it may seem at first glance. I'm glad I was able to help. Goodbye. Goodbye. Reputation increased by 100. Go back to bed now. It's alright. Forget about me. <sighs> Hmm. I'll take that. No, take it. <laughs> Let's put this down here for a second. Oh, you're not going to be able to read that. Oh, you're, now you might. Oh, B. Get rid of that. No. Oh, you stay there for a minute, rewards. I've got to check out the book. Serious business. Story behind Sabbath always sparked my interest. I did that, didn't I? I've got to talk to him about, why didn't I? Come here. <laughs> Claude, turn that thing off. Right. Find out, uh, find out what? Uh, hey. How are you? Not bad. You wake up quick. I'd be grumpy as hell. Um, I don't think it's merely a coincidence that you're here. We have a chance to help each other. Sorry, I'm not doing it in your voice. Uh, the matter of the dried up river, you're probably wondering why we don't do anything about it. Well, some have tried and probably ended badly. What do you mean? Two seasons ago, one of my brothers climbed the mountains after the water stopped flowing. He was a skilled adventurer. He could easily take care of a mountain of a mountain puma. Nobody told me about pumas or a rock bear. Are they like drop bears? A rock bear. 
Okay. A rock bear. What happened to your brother? He didn't come back. I would give a lot to find out what happened to him. Friend, let me tell you something. These mountains are cursed. Cursed, I tell you. I've already heard about the cursed things. Then it turned out that it was a madman who lured wolves into the forest. I'm serious. My brother's disappearance is not the only case. A few years ago, some of the men from the village went to these mountains to look for wealth. They were so sure they would return in one piece. After they've entered the rocky valley, no one heard of them ever since. Well, maybe they got rich and moved somewhere. This is all really taking a sort of ominous tone. It seems that no one from Satterbor will go to the mountains to see what is happening with the source of the river. How far is it from here? It looks about 20 k's, mate. You won't get there without proper help. My only brother is the only person in the village that knows the way around these mountains. Unfortunately, he has gone crazy. I thought you said he didn't come back. Uh, maybe I misread it. Uh, he's gone crazy and talks all day about some numbers, scales and windmills. His name is Faltimik, the Faltimule. Is that an L? I, I, I presume it's an L. It can't be a T because the T is next to it. So Faltimule. Uh, Faltimule, yes. Uh, he's building something that resembles neither a storeroom nor a warehouse. A bunker maybe. Unfortunately, he's gone completely crazy and talks all day about some... Hey, eh? Didn't I just say that? Uh, day has some numbers, scales and windmills. His name is... He's building something... What? Did I... I don't know what happened there. So if I can help figure out what happened to the river, chances are trade between our villages will resume. I won't go into the mountains by myself. I'll try to convince your brother then. The crazy one. Do as you wish. Well then, off I go. Tell you. See you soon. Yeah, yeah see you soon. <laughs> I'm, I might be, I might be going to my doom, mate. He doesn't care. So where's his crazy brother at? Stay. Don't roll. Go, go under the fence. Good. Right. Turn this way. Right. Ah, nearby mountains are full of tragic stories. The elder told me about the man that knows the way around these mountains. The mysterious man he was talking about is said to be madly consumed by his work. So he might not be so keen on helping me. Nonetheless, I need to try. Talk to Foltermiel. Where is he? Is that him? Pig with a pedigree? No, <laughs> that's not what I want. I'm, I'm getting thirsty. Talk to... Talk to... Here. Innovative conversations. Over there. Okay. Drink. Drink. Oh, that's right. What? One. Two. Can I have one more? What? There's supposed to be eight. Oh, what a rip-off. It really is a rip-off. What? Did that go? <laughs> Did it? Did that not? What? Oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay. Come on. Well, I reckon I've got just enough time to go and find Faulty Towers. Where is he? Over that way. They don't mind being woken up. Oh, is that him? No. Sneak past him, don't want to talk to him. <laughs> Ooh, don't walk through the bushes. You'll get scratches all over yourself. 
Hmm. Thirty-four meters over there. Can I get around that way? Maybe. Is he up on top of that thing? Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes, he is on top of that thing. There's his windmill thingamajiggy. Maybe I have to go around this way. Oh, while I'm here, where's this signpost take us to? Crossroads and the mounds. Hmm. sure how I'm gonna get up there. Oh bloody hell. Run, run for your life. <laughs> no. That's that's not good. <laughs> oh they're coming. Oh no, no! <laughs> They're over there, you probably can't see them, but I can. Oh, don't come here. You're not biting me, are you? No, because you can't. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry guys, but... What? No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> Is that? I thought that was another one over there, but no, it's not. <sighs> well, I was going to end the video, but meat first. Well, I'm clearly not going to get up to the top of that hill in this episode, so... Where did I put my torch? Did I put it back in there? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to camp somewhere. Um, can I camp just outside this gate? Will it let me? Or will it let me camp here? I don't want to go around the other side. There's another wolf. I'm pretty sure there was three wolves all up. Um, will it let me do a campfire? Oh, it will. Oh, um... Huh. <laughs> 
good. Coolio. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a lovely starry night. But, we'll see you next time. Bye.